In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to set the center of rotation and your frame of reference in the VSP workspace. Now, if we jump to a top view, you'll see that the center of rotation has been set down here at the nose at the origin. And that's all well and good if that's the part of the vehicle that you're interested in working on. But if you're interested in working on something way back here, far away from the rotation center, like the tail, notice how even small motions of the mouse cause this to wobble all over the place. Now normally this would be really aggravating, but if we simply go to View and Set Rotation Center or press R, you can see we have a number of points available to us to choose as the new rotation center. We click on one, it snaps to the center of the workspace, and now as we rotate around that point is the new fixed center of rotation. We can zoom in as we like, take a close look at the area that we're interested in working on, and then if we're done, we could either zoom out and move the vehicle back around, or what's even faster is if you go to view and fit on screen or simply press F, it takes the bounds of the model that's currently shown and then zooms it to fit on the screen and places the center of rotation in the middle of that bounded box. So see how the aircraft can easily be manipulated and turned and moved around to get a good view while the entire aircraft is on the screen. Now, an interesting feature about fit on screen is that it only does it for the parts that are shown. So if, for example, we choose to show only the tails of this vehicle and we press F again, notice that now the tail is fit on the screen and the rest of the vehicle isn't shown. Now, this is important because if you only are interested in working on a certain group of components in a very large model, if you only show that group, and then fit, it will quickly zoom to the group that you're interested in and leave the rest out of it. So if we select all, show again, and press fit one more time, it zooms us back out to the bounds of the aircraft. So you can imagine a situation where you have lots of small components or internal layouts inside a vehicle, and you want to zoom in on one part of that, you can quickly jump back and forth between views simply by choosing what are shown. Now, if we wander off, and we've lost our center of rotation and we don't know where we are, you can go to View, Center, or press C, and that will take that center of rotation and put it right back to the center of the screen.